Hello friend, this is Aran and today I'll explain how you create your Flutter project in VS Code and how you manage it in with GitHub. So let's get started. So at this time I'll be creating uh, our project from the Flutter console. So I'll go to the location where my Flutter console is. So we can start with it. On clicking Flutter console, it will open the Flutter console. Just write the command flutter create and name of the project name of the project has to be all in small letter as flutter project expects its name to be in small letter it takes some time to create the default project this will create a directory with hello world name and inside that it will have all the files Once the project is created, we can go inside that folder and just type the code and a period. So let's go into the folder and we'll type code and dot and it will open the project in VS Code. So here we have the code and we have all the files of the project. And let's run the project and see what's the so here you see the output on the device now um, it's running okay fine now we'll see how we can manage it on github from the vs code so you can click this icon source control and you'll find a, a, a button here once you click it it will ask to create in a slice the repository it will move to a folder where our source file are kept so just click the in a slice report repository and, and this will show all the files with you that is untracked so means these files are not under track and if you go to the folder where your project project is created so let me show you and, and, and that's hello world so initially this file was not there dot get and on clicking that button it has created the uh, dot get file and uh, it has uh, bought all the files here with you extension now you can uh, select this plus and move the, all these files to stage So this will again take some time to move all the files to a stage. Once they are stage change, you can come at it. You need to provide some message. So let it me uh, let me provide my first get. Oh my first comment. it has committed uh, the project still it's not in the github directory so if we uh, try to post this it will show a message that your repository has no remote configured to post to okay so now i'll go to the github you can create an account and log in with here you will uh, create a new repository you can click the plus icon and it will show an option to create new repository just name the repository uh, let me name it as hello world okay you can provide the description here Uh, let it be public public is like anyone can uh, see your repository uh, we can initialize this repository with the readme let's leave it and create the repository once the repository has been created uh, you see that we have the following commands which need to be executed in vs code uh, but 
this uh, get init command creates uh, that initializes the repository that we have done already and this get commit also we have already com com uh, completed so let's move on to the third step that is get remote add origin so we can come to the terminal so here you can just paste the command and run and it will uh, it has uh, like the origin we can check the status using get so we have here nothing uh, nothing to commit uh, commit uh, okay everything is committed so it's showing uh, there is nothing to commit and if you want to see the remote just type get remote it will show on the origin now if you uh, click this button push so the branch master is no upstream would you like to publish this branch click ok and you see here an icon moving this is be uh, this is actually pushing our code to the github It's still working so uh, it is completed with its uh, because this icon has stopped so now let us go to our hello world file and we see we have all the files here if we uh, suppose if we make some changes to our file so uh, let me make a little change let me put single dot and control s once we have saved this file so it will uh, automatically so like uh, we have one uh, modified file m is stands for modified and this plus sign uh, either you want to uh, move it onto the stage server uh, single file or all the files so to move all the files just click the above one it has uh, it has moved this file to the stage changes and if we want to see uh, the status we can always see the status using github so the, it's showing changes to be committed so now let me commit this file uh, we have to provide uh, the, some comment here so I'm writing change the comment change the project comment section okay now uh, the change I have done is in the main main file and uh, let's see here main file if we go and see uh, the initial initial file Okay, I don't remember where exactly I have made the changes yeah so uh, it's uh, showing how it looks with single lot and uh, what we have changed here is we had uh, made double lot here okay so uh, we have committed uh, let me see the status okay uh, your branch is ahead of uh, by one commit so uh, now we have to just push and it will push the changes to the web so here it's working so you see a down arrow and uh, an up arrow uh, before it was written one so now if we check our file here again this main dot dot so we see a minute ago this change was done so let me go and check the file uh, have you got the changes yeah it's reflecting here so uh, we have uh, published our change from our uh, local code to our repository uh, repository and this is how we work with the github using vs code 
thanks all please subscribe the channel hit like button if you like our content thanks